and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna, the Arsenal podcast brought to you by the last man standing with loserpool.com. As ever, I'm your host, Harry Simu, and on this very short video, I just want to say good luck to the Arsenal. I want to say a massive well done to all of those who have been able to make the trip out to Baku. We all know how expensive it's been. We all know how difficult it's been for people to get there. The fact that people have had to take... Uh, you know, long periods or longer periods of time than they'd have liked from work. So those people deserve immense credit. Hope you all have a safe journey there and back. And fingers crossed you return, of course, with the Europa League trophy. Now, if you haven't already listened to our Chronicles of Aguna preview, you can find it on this channel. Baku or Bust is the title. Check it out. Uh, I was joined on there by David Chigi from the Chelsea Fancast. You can also check out my preferred starting lineup. That video is also available. I think it's the last upload before this one. So do check that out too. Um, how am I feeling today? I'm feeling a bit nervous. Um, I'm not going to lie. And, and the more I think about this game, the more I realise that this is not just about winning the Europa League. This is about getting us back in the Champions League, setting us back on the path to reaching the top again where this football club belongs. It's so, so imperative that we win this final uh, this evening and we, we make the best of it and we push on. It will make a significant difference in our transfer budget, etc., etc. And, you know, it's so important. For Chelsea, it's not so important. You know, they've already qualified for the Champions League. For us, there is an added importance in this game. And for me... You know, that should be enough to fire up this group of players and hopefully push us on to glory. Um, you know, it's a very difficult game to call. There's no question about that. I was on TalkSport last night, had the pleasure of joining Perry Groves and Andy Goldstein uh, and, and a friend from the Chelsea Fancast to preview the game. And I, I simply couldn't call it. I said it was 50-50. Um, I've taken a lot of uh, criticism for that, actually, because there are people saying that it's, it's slightly weighed in Arsenal's favour. I think if you're basing that on the fact that Maurizio Sarri seemed to walk off the training field last night, I think you're being a bit um, naive, if I'm honest. I don't think that will make the slightest bit of difference tonight. I think Chelsea will be up for it, even if you know they haven't got 100% buy-in with Maurizio Sarri's ways and style. You know, top players want to win top trophies, and this is an opportunity for them. And you'd imagine that any they could achieve that in spite of what they think about their manager. So. When you look at the two sides, I think they're very evenly matched. I think that the slight positive that we have is that, of course, Unai Emery is very experienced in this competition. Uh, he's won it three times previously. But on the other hand, you could argue Chelsea are a slightly better side because they did pip us to a top four finish. So I think, as I said, it's a very level playing field tonight and it depends who wants it and who turns up on the night. Fingers crossed we can do it. And uh, don't forget, we'll be back bright and early tomorrow morning with Nigel Winterburn, uh, former Gunners legend, to review the final. Whatever the result, uh, we'll be putting out a podcast and that will be available from 11 a.m. tomorrow. So stay tuned, enjoy the final and come on you Gunners.